Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're delving into the mysterious and intriguing world of ancient Egypt's Book of the Dead. Ancient Egyptians believed in the afterlife and the importance of preserving their knowledge and rituals for the journey beyond. That's where the Book of the Dead comes in. It's not your ordinary bedtime story, trust me. This ancient text was like a survival guide for the soul in the afterlife, complete with spells, incantations, and instructions for navigating the treacherous realm of the dead. The ancient Egyptians had beliefs and funerary practices related to the afterlife that date back as early as 4000 BC, as evidenced by the oldest known version of the Book of the Dead. As it is commonly referred to today, was never actually called that by the ancient Egyptians themselves. They referred to it as the chapters of coming forth by day, as they believed the spells and incantations contained within would allow the deceased to emerge from the underworld and join the sun god Ra in his daily journey across the sky each day. As the ritual of mummification arose, it was hoped that properly preserving and preparing the body through ceremonies and spells would allow the deceased soul, or Ka, to live on among the gods in a blessed afterlife. Origins and Development of the Book of the Dead The earliest known versions of funerary texts in ancient Egypt that can be seen as predecessors to the Book of the Dead date back to around 4000 BC, during the pre-dynastic period. These texts, known as the Pyramid Texts, were inscribed on the walls of pyramids and contained prayers and spells to help the pharaoh transition into the afterlife. With the rise of mummification as a key funerary practice, the rituals and beliefs evolved to focus on properly preserving the physical body through mummification and performing the necessary spells and ceremonies to ensure the soul, or ka, could live on among the gods. Around this time in the early dynastic period, the cult of Osiris began to rise greatly in influence and importance throughout Egypt. Osiris had become worshipped as both the ruler of the underworld and the god who had triumphed over death through his resurrection setting a precedent that others could follow the same path through rituals and devotion to him. It was as followers of Osiris that ancient Egyptians sought to navigate the afterlife and undergo his divine judgment in the hopes of attaining an eternal reward. This led to the classic versions of funerary texts known today as the Book of the Dead Emerging, which served as guidelines and manuals for the soul's journey based around Osirian beliefs and rituals. Evidence from tombs indicates distinct versions or recensions of the Book of the Dead texts were in use by the Third Dynasty, with additional copies found dating to the Sixth Dynasty Pharaoh Pepei, demonstrating its use as early as the Old Kingdom period. The collection of spells and prayers continued to be copied and revised through the New Kingdom and later periods, with new texts drawing inspiration from it over time as Egyptian religion incorporated Greek and Roman influences as well. Contents and Purpose of the Book of the Dead The Book of the Dead was not a single, unified text but rather comprised a vast corpus of over 200 different funerary spells, prayers, hymns, and incantations. These were collected together from various sources over the centuries that the tradition of the Book of the Dead was practiced in ancient Egypt. Specific selections and chapters would be chosen from this corpus to be included based on the deceased's means and preferences and were then inscribed on papyrus scrolls or the internal walls of coffins. Alternatively, abbreviated versions known as Book of the Dead of the Viscera were painted onto the outer wrappings of mummies. The purpose of including these texts was to act as a guide and protection for the soul of the deceased on its perilous journey through the afterlife realms and during the crucial weighing of the heart ceremony before Osiris. Different spells provided instructions for navigating dangerous places and avoiding threats like demons, monsters, and other beings that could destroy the soul. Charms, passwords, and invocations of gods like Isis and Nephthys offered divine aid and safe passage. The deceased could also call upon the wisdom and guidance of Thoth, who was sometimes credited as the author of companion texts like the Book of Breathings that drew from the Book of the Dead. With the correct knowledge and utterances, it was hoped the soul could be reanimated and find eternal rest in Aru, the Egyptian paradise, joining the solar bark of Ra and the blessed dead in the agrarian fields of Osiris. The Book of the Dead thus served as a funerary Bible that the ancient Egyptians believed would facilitate their passage into the afterlife.
Evolution of the Book of the Dead As Egyptian religion and funerary beliefs evolved over the centuries, so too did the text contained within the Book of the Dead tradition. In later periods, as Egyptian culture incorporated Greek and Roman influences, new compositions began to emerge that drew inspiration from chapters of the Book of the Dead while also claiming divine authorship. One such influential text was the Book of Respirations, also called the Book of Breathings, which derived from chapters 54 to 63 of the Book of the Dead. This text was ascribed to the wisdom god Thoth and expanded upon ideas relating to the soul's journey and conditions in the afterlife that were first established in the older funerary ritual. The description of the soul's state after death shares similarities with Jewish apocalyptic literature as well. Archaeological evidence indicates distinct recensions or versions of the Book of the Dead tradition were in use as early as the Third Dynasty in Egypt. Additional copies dating to the reign of the 6th dynasty pharaoh Pepi in the 23rd century BC further demonstrate its widespread practice during the Old Kingdom period. The collection of funerary texts and spells continued to be revised and recopied through the New Kingdom era and later periods as well. While the core rituals and concepts endured, new compositions incorporated evolving religious symbolism. The Book of the Dead remained the most important sacred text of ancient Egyptian funerary beliefs, serving as an indispensable guide for followers of Osiris seeking to journey through the afterlife as Osirians. Its tradition spanned from the pyramid texts of the early dynastic period until circa the 2nd century AD, reflecting ancient Egypt's enduring fascination with death and the world beyond. Influence on Other Religions and Mysteries some scholars have theorized that the Book of the Dead may have influenced the development of later mystery religions in the ancient world through its description of an initiatory underworld journey and trials of the soul. In particular, the mysteries of the Kabari cult are proposed to potentially have Egyptian origins based on similarities with rituals in the Book of the Dead. Alternatively, it is possible that the Book of the Dead itself preserves remnants of an even older prehistoric Egyptian mystery religion that predated the dynastic period. Many ancient societies had elaborate initiation ceremonies related to death and rebirth, such as those practiced by indigenous groups in North America and Australia. Scholars suggest the Book of the Dead rituals could represent those of Neolithic savanna dwellers from thousands of years earlier. The emphasis on passing judgment and gaining acceptance into paradise shares similarities with later Jewish apocalyptic literature as well. Descriptions in the Book of Respirations, attributed to Thoth, closely follow the indications provided about the soul's condition in the afterlife found in older Book of the Dead chapters. As the oldest of Egypt's sacred text that was universally practiced, the Book of the Dead guided Egyptians as followers of Osiris on their hoped-for journey through the afterlife regions revealed in Osirian rituals. Its influence may have extended beyond Egypt's borders through related mystery traditions. The composite nature of the work reflects its development over many centuries, with glosses added to explain older passages as religious conceptions evolved. Archaeological evidence indicates distinct versions were in use by the Third Dynasty, showing its early widespread practice. In summary, the Book of the Dead was an indispensable funerary text for ancient Egyptians that guided them on their journey through the afterlife according to Osiris' domains and judgments. Originating from the earliest pyramid texts, it grew into a vast corpus of spells, prayers, and instructions intended to protect souls facing dangers in the realm of the dead. While beliefs evolved over millennia, the Book of the Dead remained the central ritual manual that followers believed would enable their hearts and names to endure for eternity among the blessed dead. Its influence may have even extended beyond Egypt's borders through related mysteries. As the oldest known religious manuscript, the Book of the Dead provides a fascinating window into the ancient Egyptians' enduring quest to understand and overcome death through sacred writings. Thank you for joining us on this journey.